Hey guys, so um, in this video I'm going to help address one of the bigger, more po uh, more common problems that uh, people have been running into while mapping for Left 4 Dead 2, um, and that is the infamous particle browser. Now as you see here we've got a, uh, we've got a pretty simple map. Um, only problem is, uh, you know, okay we want to put in a particle system. Um, we go ahead and as you can see right here, we've got the uh, the info particle system. It's already been placed. Um, we go ahead and open up the um, oh, you know, the, the, the options menu, and uh, let's go ahead and look. Let's okay, cool. All right, so we notice that we've got this new in this new particle system browser, which is fantastic because um, in the past you had to rely on. Um, you know, if you didn't know exactly how a particle system looked or how it, um, you know, as far as spacing was goes, you know, you had to go in game and you had to make adjustments um, on an individual basis. And what this lets you do is it lets you, you know, if you're not familiar with the particle system, you can look at it and you can get kind of an idea of what it looks like before you even have to load in the game. Um, so, you know, fantastic way uh, of speeding up mapping, um, and it's a great addition by Valve to the Hammer system. Only problem is, we go ahead and we click browse, and there's no PCF files. Uh, the particle systems aren't there. Um, the problem is, whenever the uh, authoring tools were shipped out, the particles that were supposed to be referenced to with the particle browser, um, they weren't included in the Left 4 Dead 2 files. Um, they remained in the VPKs, which are basically where um, you know these, like think of them as as specialized Steam, or I'm sorry, specialized Valve WinZips. Um, they remain in there, and they're not extracted out. And so whenever we hit rescan, doesn't matter what options we choose, it uh, it's it's not it's not reading the particle systems. Um, Good thing is there is a fix. Uh, it's there are a couple places on the internet where you can find it referenced, but there's really no, um, you know, you, I had to mess around with it for a little bit before I finally figured it out. So I figured I'd make a video and and uh, and make it a lot easier. Um, so basically, for this, you're going to need a, a program called GCFscape. Um, it's a free to use program. Um, let's see if I can the edge of the there it goes. Um, it's a free program, uh, very lightweight, quick download. Um, you can find it just Google GC, GCFscape, uh, and it'll be the first, the first result. You want to pick the installer um, for GCFscape version 1.7.5 full. Uh, just hit installer, save, and uh, whenever it downloads, you just go ahead and install it. Um, now. Uh, uh, Whenever you get uh, GCFscape installed, um, let's close out some of this stuff. Uh, you have to basically what you have to do is you have to go into the game files and move the particle systems into a place where the particle browser can find them. Um, so, and this may differ depending on how your computer is set up. Uh, but go to the install directory for Left 4 Dead, um, which is usually Steam or program files, Steam. Uh, Steam apps, uh, common, Left 4 Dead 2, um, and then Left 4 Dead uh, 2. And then you, you'll scroll down and you'll find these. These are the Valve pack files, the VPKs. Um, and uh, you're going to look for one called pack 01 dir. Uh, and that's the directory for the first set of of files. Um, and it's going to bring up GCFscape. And uh, here you've got a list of, of folders where data is contained within these uh, VPKs. What we're looking for is you go to the root and then it should, it should come up automatically, automatically uh, and then particles. Double click on it and you'll get this full list of, of these files called PCF files. These are the particle files that we need. Um, Click at the very top, bloodfx.pcf, uh, scroll down to the bottom, and then shift click on whichfx.pcf, and it'll select the entire directory. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is go to, um, actually just right click on it, on the uh, on the files, 
click extract and then you're going to want to extract these to a temporary file now you see <laughs> I did this about 10 minutes ago so we're going to make a you know we've already, already got a temporary file set up but you want to extract it to this temp folder um, and you'll see why in a second um, all those files will be pulled out of the VPK and uh, they're going to be put into this temporary folder which I put on my desktop um, go to this temporary folder and here you have it you have all these PCF files now this is currently in a form where the particle browser can use them um, go ahead and shift click so you can select them all uh, it's really important there's a document in here that's not a PCF file it's uh, it's a text document called particles.manifest or particles underscore manifest and uh, that is what it's sort of think of it like a uh, um, uh, you know roster or a list within these PCF files. Without it, you, the particle browser won't be able to function. Um, so be sure that that text document is included. Um, if you just selected all the files in the particle folder in the VPK, then it'll automatically be extracted, but don't forget to copy it over. Um, so we're going to hit copy and um, copy those files. Now this is where it gets kind of confusing. Um, you know, there isn't... the Most of the guides on the internet say that you need to extract it to a... Uh, uh, a folder within outside of the VPKs in that same folder called particles and it's a folder called particles I don't know if it's like this for everyone um, and if it is if you do have a particles folder already in your left for dead 2 um, directory then just skip this but uh, for me I didn't have a particles folder and it confused you know the hell out of me until I just you know I on a hunch I just went ahead and created the particle file extracted the files in and uh, it all worked so what you're gonna want to do is make sure that you're in the same directory as the pac01 directory file um, and you go ahead and make a new folder and you want to call it all and all uh, all lowercase um, you want to call it particles Ta -da. Um, and it'll just create an empty file folder inside of the left 4 dead 2 directory um, and again that's steam apps common left 4 dead 2 left 4 dead 2 um, go ahead and open up the particles folder and then just copy the all the files that you pulled out of the VPK into the particle system or into the particles folder um, and then from there all you have to do is go into hammer and we'll check and make sure it works go ahead and uh, open up our particle system options go to browse and it'll import all the particle systems from the left 4 dead folder and as you can see now it's fully working um, you got all these fire animations you know just a whole bunch, just a slew of particle systems, and there really there are tons of particle systems for Left 4 Dead 2. Um, and you know, thank goodness Valve finally thought of a good way, a, you know, an easy and, and effective way to um, to easily browse these without having to go into the game. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave comments, um, and I'll I'll help you as best as I can. But uh, for the most part pretty much uh, pretty much done so uh, yeah thanks for watching